hello guys you're welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time of being here hello you are welcome to my channel my name is tessie so how are you all doing i hope you all are doing well because i'm doing great so today i have another interesting news for you guys i will just go ahead and read but before i continue if this is the first time you're watching my video or you have been watching without subscribing what are you waiting for in this channel we talk about politics metro news entertainment and all of that and believe me you don't want to miss any of this news news anytime we publish them so please kindly hit on that red subscribe button down below to subscribe also on the notification button in that way anytime i upload a new video they will notify you and i pray that the same way you guys are supporting me here in this channel god will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in jesus name amen so without wasting much of your time let's go straight to this news Great tension in Asorok as VP Yemi Osibanjo said to resign any moment from now, allegedly. The fate of Vice President Yemi Osibanjo, who President Mohamed Buhari once described as a lawyer vice, was hanging in the balance last night. Professor Yemi Osibanjo has been more than just a number two citizen. He has been the poster boy of Buhari administration. A man of intellectual depth, Osibanjo speak eloquently about the administration economic policies. However, on Monday, the presidency announced the replacement of the economic management team, which Osibanjo chaired with an economic advisory council to be chaired by Professor Donyi Salami. Other members of the new body are Dr. Mohammed, Vice Chairman Professor Ode, Dr. Shehu Yahaya, Dr. Iyabo Masha, Professor Chukuma Soludu, and Mr. Bismarck Rawani. The secretary to the new team is Dr. Mohammed Adeya Salisu. Special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Femi Adesina, said that the advisory council will be reporting directly to the president. Barely 48 hours after constituting the EAC, there has been disquiet within the government and the ruling All Progressive Congress APC over alleged plan to relocate some aid of the vice president from the presidential villa to some ministries, departments and agencies, MDAs. The development forward a claim that some forces are out to curtail the vice president's power by removing some agencies under his supervision. Depending, the fear is that alleged memo from President Buhari directing the vice president to henceforth seek presidential approval in the running of the agencies under his supervision. Meanwhile, Osi Banjo has denied any rift in the presidency. He has said that agencies under his supervision are acting constitutionally. The vice president stated that he never failed to comply with the law. He cautioned against move to cause disaffection in the presidency, especially between him and the president. He maintained that he has an effective and mutually respectful relationship with the president. However, it was gathered that the social investment program may not operate under the newly created Ministry of Social Development, Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management. A top source said that a proposal has been forwarded to President Mohamed Buhari seeking his approval for the dispenser of most of the presidential advisors and aid in the vice president's office outside the presidential villa. If the president consent, all the VP's key aid and advisors covering a variety of brief would then be posted out of the villa to the MDAs. Source last night spoke of alleged plot to muzzle the vice president ahead of permutation for 2023. A government source said, I am not aware of any political animosity in the presidency. The reality is that the resources available to the government are shrinking and we have to realign some MDAs within the scarce resource. Session H of Part 1 of the test K due to the 1999 Constitution says the National Economy Council shall comprise the following members. A. The Vice President. B. The Governor of each state of the Federation. And 
C. The Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria established under the Central Bank of Nigeria Decree 1991 or any enactment replacing that decree. The National Economic Council shall have power to advise the President concerning economic affairs of the Federation and in particular on measures necessary for a coordination of the economic planning effort or economic program of the various government of the Federation. A source who spoke in confidence said, We see the two bodies as one, with EAC comprised of economic experts and NEC composed of political leaders. Even the adversary council has no constitutional backing. Another APC chief said, We are worried because the adversary council is suggesting that the APC administration has run out of ideas, such as such that we are now recruiting some experts used by the opposition, People Democratic Party, PDP, in the past. Okay, guys, so this is basically the news for you guys. I'm just going to end this video here and let you guys share your own opinion with me on the comment section. What do you think about this whole news? Let me know. Let's talk more on the comment section. And with that, I will just say thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to share this video, like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Remain blessed. Bye-bye.